And here we go, autonomous action now from the Red Alliance as they try to navigate a gear onto the peg. It looks like not gonna be close enough for Code Purple who has to back away and prepare for driver control. Blue Alliance was quick to get a gear in their first rotor, the main rotor turning up top as Red answers with the free gear of their own. Starting that play, we now have two minutes of time remaining with drivers under full control of these machines. The first one to grab a gear from the ground is going to be Octo Pirates for Red, who have possession with their fantastic manipulator, but a little bit of a heavy hand from the pilots on board means that that gear for Red hits the deck and they're gonna have to pick it up again. Blue Alliance trying to take one from the retrieval zone. This is the Illuminati lining up as their human player tries to enter a gear into play and it hits the slot. Beautiful shot for Blue. A few rogue shots of fuel flying through the air thanks to the soda bots. Blue Alliance machine trying to use fuel to bring this game back. It's tied up right now, every point matters. And looks like the shots fall just short for the Blue Alliance. 54-95. Zipping back over to the retrieval zone for the Blue Alliance with one minute to play. They're on the hunt for yet another gear. Unfortunately, it's the Red Alliance machine Octo Pirates who have a gear that has gotten a bit wedged in their robot. Those Octo Pirates are not gonna be able to take possession of yet another gear until they find a way to free that either at the end of the match or by creative driving while they defend against the IRS who tries to sneak their way around. Gear in possession for Issaquah. If only for a moment. All the action now on one corner of the field as people now mix it up both ways. Robots flying past the ropes that are now falling from the airships. And it's SPQL, who, or Illuminati, who go up for blue. They trigger that quickly, make it look easy as the Red Alliance struggles to find their way to a rope. 58-27, lines up to climb, and it's quick. With time to burn, the Red Alliance pulls out the trifecta. No one thought they could pull it off, but it looks like Red Alliance Code Purple dropped off a gear and then pulled into position all in a matter of seconds when time was of the utmost essence. We're gonna clean this mess up and we'll get you final scores. If you direct your attention to the displays, it came down to the wire on this one and the Blue Alliance snuck out a win, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent work and two points made the difference. Somebody give a high five to those SodaBot kids who put those fuel points on the board for Blue. That took it away as we move into match number 13 coming up.